While traveling down I-64, Jan Winkler noticed something suspicious along the interstate. We noticed immediately, I mean like every few miles there's another placement in the, in the uh, median there. Around 3 a.m. Tuesday, Illinois State Police were dispatched to mile marker 72 between Mount Vernon and Woodlawn to assist a stranded driver. As troopers arrived at the scene, 23-year-old Brandon Griffin of Albuquerque, New Mexico, started shooting. It's nuts. I mean, it, I don't, I don't, we don't know what's going on. It is very scary. Griffin wounded a 16-year veteran of Illinois State Police during the shootout before he was shot and killed by troopers at the scene. Violence like that is completely unacceptable. The trooper was taken to a Mount Vernon hospital with what are being called non-life-threatening injuries, but seemingly everyone in the area had the same message about his service. Well, that man's a hero. All those men that responded to that were heroes. God bless him, anybody for being out there in law enforcement. I mean, it is a very scary time. And it, it, it just seems every day you turn on the, uh, we keep getting alerts on our phones that, you know, somebody else, there's a shooting elsewhere. Uh, and it's getting closer and closer in smaller towns and smaller towns, and something needs to be done. I mean, I don't know what the answer is. All the police officers have put their life on the line. I mean, I really pre I appreciate you guys. Uh, you keep me and my family safe. Uh, it's nice knowing they're out there. 